and uh, rats and then, uh, on a Datsun for them. And so uh, I've showed how to do it with the adjustable ream and everything like that. And so uh, for me, it's worth the 60 bucks to now show how to get it done the right way because these guys are going to spend 25 bucks on an adjustable ream, get them all cattywampus, and it's like, you know, hey, listen, spend the 60 bucks, get it done right. right. So does that keep expanding? Yeah. Every you time. keep dialing it in and it keeps yeah. expanding? Yeah, it's like on this dial here that barely changed. I'll shut it off. So I step on the pedal down below. It's all gut. Oh, okay. Flex the pitch out. So that's how you're able to pull it back off, check the kingpin real easy, slide it back on because you're adjusting the pressure down there. Oh, nice. Yeah, the only other video I've ever found uh, online was with the Sun and Home, a little bit newer one. And they were talking about how they had to flip it over one side to the other because they found it, yeah, it was slightly different. Yeah, you definitely want to keep flipping them every once in a while. Yeah, I think they were doing some 32 Ford spindles, you know, because yeah. a lot of hot rods are still running that kind of front end on it, so. Yeah, I planned on being here before lunch, but uh, one set of the bushings in one of those spindles. Oh man, what a nightmare. The other one's just pressed right out, no big deal, but yeah. And about how much difference, because uh, like the ream I'm using goes from 25, 30 seconds to 27. So it's a sixteenth of an inch difference. Are these about the same? Yeah, pretty close. Does that change the speed or the range that your foot pedal adjusts? Uh, the foot pedal just adjusts the, the thickness, just pretty much. Okay. Little by little. So what's the dial change? The dial change is uh, this is to add more pressure. Okay. And this pretty much tells you how much pressure you got on the... Oh, and this is a spray bar on here. The other one, uh, the other one I saw in the video was uh, internal feed. And basically we're shooting for a thou and a half over. Yeah, pretty much you want to... Just by feel. Pretty much just by feel. You, you don't want it too loose, but you don't want it too tight. Yeah, the problem I have with the adjustable ream is getting it perfectly lined up. They go in slightly yeah. skew, and then you have to tweak it a little bit, and you end up with a slightly oblong hole. Yeah. But if you get it too darn tight, you don't get enough oil in there to. Uh, uh, so it's kind of counterproductive to have a two tape. And is there basically just one stone on there? And then a couple extra guides? Yeah. So it's pretty much, that's your stone there. Right. And the other ones are just there to keep it concentric? Yeah. Maybe you see how it pops up on that stone. Oh, yeah. So is that pulling a bar inside? Just like yep. an adjustable ream, it ramps it up? Yep. Interesting. I've done these before where the uh, the bushings were non-existent. It was already into the spindle. Yeah. It's uh, they're uh, spindles off an old uh, Datsun. These are only from like a, about a 1970. The other set I just got done doing was from about a uh, 65.
closer. Yeah, and on the other one, online, I didn't notice the bar over there to keep it from torquing in your hand. It might have been there, I didn't notice it though. Yeah, I've had it once where it got so tight it spun the whole thing around on me. Oh, nice. Can, can you let go of it fast enough? <laughs> that was pretty close. Good reason not to wear gloves while doing it. Yeah. Let them cool down a little bit. And check Did they get that much hot heat? A little bit of heat will uh, definitely expand the heat. Let them cool down a bit just to double check them and make sure that uh, 